Welcome back, conspirators. We are still at the Town of Light. Let's see what this says. My medical file again. I don't want to know. I don't want to know anymore. There's only confusion. There were some who had scarcely seen me. They thought they knew me and understood what was happening to me and could decide about my life. Version one? What did I say? I think there's a new version. Uh, let's see, where do I? Every time we go to this, we wake up in the hospital again. It's like everything's different. Ooh, nothing hiding back there. Wait, what? I thought I saw something. It's like, looks like we're back at like present day hospital now. Uh, look like anchors in here. Let's double check just to be sure. Some empty beds, that's it. Alright. What am I hung up on? Nope. Hmm. I'm supposed to jump down here? Hmm. Well, let me. So we're. Oh, okay. Wheelbarrow. This looks like something. Once more I feel like I'm on the edge of an abyss. What a horrible feeling. My paranoia is hammering at the gates. Everything is exploding and in the end I know they will enter and destroy me in a matter of seconds. I won't be here for much longer, but in my personal hell, consumed by fear, which will be directed violently outwards. When you're not well, I mean, in your head, when you're crazy, I mean, what else am I? Well, that's that. I can't speak or move anymore. I find it hard to swallow. I can't eat. Then it passes. I feel better. Like now, perhaps. Then the anxiety returns and I can't sleep. I can't stop the intrusive thoughts, one after the other, relentlessly. I suffer from memory lapses. Yes, there are periods I don't remember anything about, and I don't know what it means. It first started when I was with my fiancé, and Bruna was there. They said I did certain things, you know. I'm too embarrassed to talk about them. But I think that's the reason I'm here, isn't it? But I don't do any of those things now, do I? I, uh, please, please tell me. And uh, send me home. I'm sure I'm okay, and I so want to go home. But nobody comes to visit me. Why? Do you know? Hmm. Let me play this one. Or wait a minute. I can't take it off. 
It's like, I don't know if I'm supposed to play. Yeah, well, let me. Okay, so that was, and she says she suffers from severe memory loss. So that really makes me question a lot now. What's this? That's it. August 28th, 1942. We hereby notify you of the death of Ada T, mother of Renee T, a patient in your institution. No known relative. Sincerely yours, Onofrio P. Ah, oh, so now mother's dead. I have no one left in the world. Nobody at all. The solitude is very strange. It muffles everything, slows it down. It's an endless scream that makes no sound. A silent scream. I can't stop looking at myself. I will never leave this place. There is nobody out there for me. These walls have become my skin. And the wretched desperation within them is my soul without a voice. Nobody weeps anymore. How I would love to feel life, desperation, anger. I have stopped dreaming, daydreaming, maybe even thinking. I've lived in a reality which has corroded me and has stripped me of everything, even my ability to feel pain. Damn. So I think she's kind of, uh, has had enough of everything at this point. Said there's nobody there for her. She can't feel pain. Um, I don't know what it is, but I love this little uh, pattern here on the floor, little chess boards here, man. These are cool. Especially like, just these little squares on the staircase. That's, uh, that's awesome. I don't know why I like that. I just do. Nothing back here. Ah, so I'm supposed to, like, leave? I want to check on. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Look at all these boxes. What is this little light? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else to pick up. Mm. Nope. Alright. 
Step out into the light then. supposed to should be thing over here okay. uh, I guess let's check uh, over on this side it was this is like the main gate wasn't it I can't get out See what's over here. May 5th, 1943. Renee's state of health is good. She is eating and speaking. Her spatial and temporal orientation is good. Therapy suspended. December 3rd. She calmly asks if she can leave the hospital. Evaluate patient for six months. May 2nd, 1944. Discharge denied, despite a favorable psychiatric opinion. The patient has no home or means of support. Damn, so it looks like she wanted to leave and they just didn't let her leave. What? This door's open. May 4th. The reasons why discharge is impossible are explained. And this is how Renee learns of her mother's death two years after the fact. Oh, damn. Is that her mother? May 5th. She tried to kill herself in the night by hanging herself with a sheet, saved by the nurses. Restrained to her bed, she once more tried to kill herself by suffocation. A decision has been taken to perform a transorbital lobotomy. Chapter 15? The use of lobotomy spread rapidly in Italy compared to other European countries in America. The original technique pioneered by A.E. Manes was perfected in 1937 by A. Fambertti. Uh, the operation involved gaining access to the frontal lobes of the brain by sawing through the orbit bone above the eyelids then damaging the lobes by means of an alcohol or formaldehyde injection or using a special instrument. Jesus, man. Contrary to what was often thought, the patients did not always receive invalidating damage, although this was often the case. Manes was awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1949. This therapy gradually fell into disuse after the discovery of schizophrenia. Is that what that said? Oh, it's going too fast. Here you guys are again. What do you want from me? Just let me go. Let me live my life. Oh, 
Jeez, so I guess I'm blinking here. Could you possibly be taking notes over? You've had to be locked up in here for years. Like, are notes really necessary at this point? Why do you look so, like, depressed? Oh, Jesus, dude. Can I have, like, some personal space here? Oh, my God. Why are their eyes black? What the heck is going on? Yeah, I don't know. This ain't good, guys. Dude. Like, what is your deal? Like, what's going on? Dude, you not, I know you're not about to give me a full-blown lobotomy right now. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, dude. No way. Oh! God damn, man. What the heck? Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Dude, no way. Ain't no way. Oh. Dude, man, this is kind of gross, man. Like, what? No. Well, if you weren't messed up before, Renee, you are now. of June, 1944. Operation successful. Patient tranquil and collaborative. Operation successful? Motor coordination capacity reduced, but she's improving. Transfer to the tranquil department in the care of Dr. B. 25th of October. Continues to talk about Amara and her doll, Charlotte. The disturbances of motor capacity show slight signs of improvement. Difficulty walking, not capable of riding, and the nurses report that they have to help her dress, wash, and feed herself. In the summer of 1944, Renee was transferred back into my department. Aware of little, indifferent, hardly ever spoke. One day, she said, when I find the courage to look at myself in the mirror, I see a young face which is aged and looks at me full of fear. She is a woman now who has changed profoundly compared to the girl I had under my care several years ago. Only the sadness of her gaze and her intelligence are unchanged. She's so young, just 23 years old, but is lacking all vitality. Perhaps her condition may improve, but probably not. Her life has been thrown away, and nobody did a thing to try to avoid this. Yeah, sorry guys, I had to edit this last part here because there's music playing in the background. I have to cut the music out. So, I I'm trying to figure out, is this, like, is this whole game that we just played, like, just her having a memory or, like, a hallucination? Because by what I'm gathering here, like, she's still there. Like, this wasn't us coming back to visit the hospital to, like, regain our memories. Like, I think she was just hallucinating, like, us going through this, like, just going through her memories. But, uh, I don't know, man. This is a uh, very, very interesting game. It's 
it's like she had a mental illness and like the mother yeah it's town, the town of light the mother sent her to this asylum and things only got worse from there like she had like a nurse that abused her and she ended up losing like her only friend there like amara and then her doll she was using as like a way of coping with things and did this lobotomy on her and now she's just like a vegetable now pretty much is what i'm gathering but I don't know, that's my interpretation of this game anyway. I don't know, what do you guys think? And that's it. So we'll see you in the next one, conspirators. Uh, stay charming.